So looking forward to seeing my family down here and just recuperating from five years, seven months, and five days of just absolute nonsense by the Russian government. Three newly freed Americans are back on U.S. soil after a landmark prisoner exchange with Russia. Journalist Evan Gerchkovich and corporate security executive Paul Whelan arrived at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland for a joyful reunion with their families. Whelan thanked reporters for their work in keeping his story alive and calling for his release. Phone calls, um, everything that you've done with my family, it, it means a lot. So, How do you feel? I feel great. It's a long time coming. Yeah. So I'm glad to be back. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were also there to greet them. It was wonderful. Long time to come. I was absolutely convinced we could get it done. And then when I said, alliances make a difference. He stepped up and took a chance for us. It mattered a lot. So I invited her home. Oh yeah, President Biden gave me his pin from his... That's an American flag. Um, he wore it on his lapel. So we were chatting and he took it off and uh, gave it to him. So it's a keepsake. Biden was asked, what is his message to other countries who unlawfully detain Americans to get something they want? Hey, look, that's been the case for all of history. <laughs> My job is to make sure, number one, they don't get them. And if they do, we get them back. I don't buy this idea that you're not going to let these people rot in jail because other people may be captured. Whelan described the moment he finally felt free. As we came over England and I looked down, um, you know, that's when it became real. We flew over Ireland, then Canada, into America, and then I knew I was home. The three Americans were part of the biggest U.S.-Russian prisoner swap in post-Soviet history. Officials say the multinational deal has set two dozen people free. The trade follows years of back-channel negotiations, despite relations between Washington and Moscow being at their lowest point since the Cold War. What is your message tonight to Vladimir Putin? Stop.